myself yam gunakar assistant professor of zoology government degree college siddipet telangana today let us discuss circulatory system of pigeon circulatory system of pigeon in particular birds in general consists of heart arteries veins lymphatic vessels and blood today let us discuss the structure of the heart and as well as function of the heart heart of birds that is pigeon show some advance over reptiles in having a completely four chambered heart with two auricles and two ventricles as in mammals a sinus venosus or a conus arteriosus both are absent sinus venosus is present in the em embryos which is incorporated into the right auricle when it grows coming to the external structure the heart in birds is that is pigeon is comparatively larger than in other vertebrates in proportionate to its body heart lies in the thoracic cavity midventrally partly surrounded by the lobes of the liver the heart is reddish in color it is conical in shape with the apex directed backwards and the broad base forwards it is enclosed in a thin transparent and membranous sac called the pericardium which is made up of an outer parietal layer and an inner visceral layer the two layers enclose a narrow pericardial cavity which is filled with a watery serous or watery serous fluid which is called pericardial fluid and this pericardial fluid prevents the heart from shocks and injuries and permits movements during the heartbeat now coming to the an external hollow transverse groove called coronary sulcus which is also called auriculo ventricular groove separates the two anterior darker smaller and thin walled auricles from the posterior thick walled ventricles similarly an inter auricular groove separates the two auricles now coming to the internal structure internally the two thin walled auricles are separated by a complete thin membranous partition which is called the inter auricular septum it bears in its middle a small oval area which is called fossa ovalis fossa ovalis representing the position of the foramen ovale in the embryo the two ventricles are also completely separated from each other by a thick muscular interventricular septum the right auricle is larger and receives the three large caval veins the right and left pre caval veins and one post caval vein the two ventricles are also completely separated from each other by a thick muscular interventricular septum the right auricle is larger and receives the three large caval veins the opening of the post caval is guarded by a muscular eustachian valve the right auricle opens into the right ventricle by a crescentic aperture the right auriculo ventricular aperture it is covered by covered with a pair of strong muscular flaps the right auriculo ventricular valve in function it represents the tricuspid valves of the mammals the right ventricle having thinner valves partly encloses encircles the left ventricle having thicker walls in a transverse section the right ventricle appears crescentic crescentic while the left ventricle appears circular the right ventricle gives off a single trunk the pulmonary aorta which soon divides into two pulmonary arteries each pulmonary artery going to one lung the opening of the pulmonary trunk is guarded by three semilunar valves the left auricle is smaller and receives four pulmonary veins from the lungs it opens into the left ventricle by a circular left auriculo ventricular aperture it is guarded by two membranous flaps forming the left auriculo ventricular valve which is also called bicuspid valve 
or mitral valve of the mammal it is comparable to the mitral valve of the mammals the flaps are connected to thick papillary muscles arising from the wall of the left ventricle by two chordae tendine the left ventricle gives rise to the single right systemic or aortic arch which is continued into the dorsal aorta the left arch which is present in the frog and lizard is absent in birds the opening into the aortic arch is guarded by three semilunar valves trabeculae or columnae corniae which are muscles that traverse the cavities of the ventricles now coming to the working of the heart the heart is a force pump which drives the blood to all parts of the body as in mammals the avian heart or pigeon heart is completely four chambered so that there is complete separation of arterial and venous bloods that is deoxygenated and oxygenated blood the right half receives and discharges only venous blood that is deoxygenated blood sorry the left half only receives arterial blood that is oxygenated blood and discharges it thus like mammals birds also possess a complete double circulation of the blood double circulation comprises pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation coming to the pulmonary circulation the right ventricles the right ventricle pump venous blood that is deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary arteries pulmonary artery or aorta leading to the right and left lungs respectively from the lungs oxygenated blood is returned to the left auricle by the four pulmonary veins systemic circulation the systemic circulation serves the function of oxygenated blood from left auricle the blood passes through the left auricular ventricular aperture the blood passes into the left ventricle hence it is driven through the aorta into smaller arteries after that from the left ventricle the blood passes into the systemic aorta and then into smaller arteries which break up into capillaries and the blood pumps to all the tissues of the body the capillaries unite to form veins which finally from the three great vena cavae again return the impure blood to the right auricle thank you